Boko members who have caused havoc in Africa's most populous country through a wave of bombings, assassinations and abduction is fighting to overthrow the government and create an Islamic state. And as such, besides recruiting fighters, Boko Haram needs to arm them, equip them and supply them with uniforms and boots to give them the appearance of a true army. Where do the 4x4 four four vehicles often seen in their propaganda videos from come from? Who supplies them with the rifles and machine guns that they use? Where do they get their uniforms? Who orders them and how are they paid for? These are many more questions beg for answers. According to reports, most of the Islamic groups' weapons are either stolen from Nigeria military stocks or purchased on the thriving Central African arms black markets. In addition to weapons, the rebels frequently seize non-leather equipment like Nigeria military uniforms that helps them carry out their attacks. However, the uniforms in the attached photos are not that of the Nigeria military. They are specially designed all brown uniforms with brown boots that matches the dress. The question now is, who is providing Boko members these brown uniforms and boots? Hmm. Big question to answer. The governor of uh, the central bank of uh, the governor of central bank will not even go and seek for court order to be able to know. They will not do all those things. They will not do all those investigation. The so-called DSS and SS, they will not. They will never dare it for close to ten years. They will not. But when it comes to an armless person, they will quickly run and begin to do profiling. Up to today, how they found themselves, they, we don't, we don't, they don't know in this country. And you come here and be, they will be bragging. And their recruits all over the internet will be coming and be saying an awkward thing. They will not ask pertinent questions. Of course, you know that these kind of people are really, really economical with the truth. They know what they are doing, but they just want to intimidate those who are saying the truth. Buhari does not know. Buhari, Buhari does not know. The uh, police, uh, public relations officer, all of them, they don't even know. The IGP, they don't, they don't even know. Especially the DSS, that always invite people. Come and tell us what you know. Hey, we are uh, intelligence gathering here and there. Intelligence gathering. But they will not know this one. Because uh, now the UAE has been able to imprison some of the sponsors. Brutai just came, or the Nigerian army just came out and said, oh, the, these people are wanted, Chicago is wanted. Like, seriously? Just woke up from the slumber. They just woke up from their sleep. They just woke up from their sleep. Who is supplying them boots and uniforms? Who is doing that? <clears throat> well, uh, they are sponsored by Nigeria elites. UAE arrested some sponsors, prosecuted and jailed them. Their brothers in Nigeria requested intervention by the governor. Are you still asking who are the sponsor of this book? Of course, we need to ask, ask them. Let's put it before them. Let them answer. The government knows their sponsors, but they would not tell for reasons best known to them. But the UAE will tell us because that is the only country the Nigeria masses depend on now for security and justice. God bless you, Adamu, for speaking the truth. You are a true Muslim. Peace. The North will continue to face insecurity until when the Stop killing innocent people in the name of uh, Islam. Uh, back to sender. Your family will be the ones who face this uh, northerners. Okay. You people are already facing it. That is the fact. That is the truth. You people can't cheat nature. You guys can't cheat God. The divine. Likewise, can you cheat the laws of karma? This Boko people organizes. the organized race on military basis to see uniform they kidnap people for ransom to get money to purchase uniform and housing in the black market the average northern muslim is a member of the boko as of the supply of the their uniform and boots please ask buhari and his government they will give you the answer to your question mm -hmm. yes but that cannot be enough for them they practically have sponsors. Of course, even they steal uh, some uniforms. Uh, and with what we are seeing, it is really totally, it's totally different because they are really many. They are, their uniforms are totally different. Just plain brown. 
So they can't tell us, just like somebody said, they cannot steal everybody. They have sponsors. How did they get to know them in Dubai or UAE? How did they get to know in Abu Dhabi? Yeah, UAE. How did they get to know them? So if another country can really get to know them, so what about those the people now in our in, in, in the country? In the, the home country, they don't know, they've not been able to see them. But when it comes to answers, protesters, or anybody calling for revolution, that is when they will not know that they know how to work. And some people with their mouth, whether they have not brushed their mouth, they will begin shooking their mouth. Yes, you have to deal with this person. He wants to uh, topple the government of Buhari. He wants to do this and that. Hey, they, want to, they want to make this com- uh, country ungovernable. They want to do this and that. But see now, what happened in uh, UAE now, in Abu Dhabi, they can't talk. They want to bubble Nigerians now. They just quickly say, say oh, eh, Chicago is wanted. This person is want- wanted. Many, many people are wanted. Now, now they break. That is how they are always doing a reaction a move. Take a reaction move. They are not always proactive. They know what they are doing. There's not. They know what they are doing. Whether good or bad, they know what they are doing. Well, it is the uh, crown. Okay, MFL was able to know the bank accounts of hashtag and uh, protesters, but unable to know that of the Boko sponsor. Hmm. Insane people. The world is coming to an end. Look at people able to organize themselves and hold a professional soldiers to ransom. Unbelievable. Can't you see? Asking this kind of question, the same person providing uniform for Nigeria Army is the same person providing arms and uniform for these uh, so-called Boko members. The question is how did those weapons get into the country when and through which border because you cannot move large arms without being noticed why are you asking or telling us okay you see something directly made from the uh, sarah reset continues and you're asking can't you see that the borders are so porous and they are and there's enabling environment in the north africa and arab countries mm. okay which border that the small good even armor tanker and other gigantic property. God knows if you are not one of them. That we <laughs> okay, well, they are not fighting to overthrow the government, but they are being used by northern elites to decimate growing Christian population in the northeast. How come on Nigeria's soil government has not been able to know their sponsors or freeze any of their accounts like America? used to freeze serious accounts or those dealing with them. And Buruta is there, feeling good. Buhari is there, feeling good. All the northern elders that usually call for this and that, they are not there. They are there, feeling good. They, will not, they are not calling for compensation of the properties destroyed, but they have not been able to call out their people to say, no, enough is enough. Our children's lives are just in danger. We can't continue like this. No, they won't say that, but they will be looking for somebody who, or people who are calling for the structuring to tackle with the person.